Hey guys, I'm Lindsay Hoffman with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Beverly Hilton for the Ace Eddie Awards. Thanks. You're already getting the party started. Where'd you get that from? It's a prop. Oh, it's a prop. It's a prop. A prop. So I love your suit. Um, what did the inspiration come from for it? To look uh, wealthy and stand out at an award show. Like your show, Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. Where do... And if you knew the price of this jacket, you would say, yes, yeah, that must have come out of the closet of somebody rich and famous. What's the price tag of it? I think this was, uh, I don't know, $7,900, Tom Ford. That's crazy, Tom Ford, though. I like it, it looks good on you. It makes a statement. It does. So Actually, it isn't Tom Ford, and it wasn't $7,900. You're lying to me already? What is it? What is it? it? Is, uh, oh, that's my name. Oh, it's you. you got great style. I love it. It's David August from California. I like he, it. He does, he's done all my clothes since the beginning of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Oh, awesome. I love him. He does good stuff. So, Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous, it's the original before the MTV Cribs. You know, where did the idea come from for that? Well, it came from me. I, I dreamed it up. I mean, everybody else ripped me off. They did. They ripped me off. Uh, all those shows ripped me off. Yeah, but you're the original. So when you came up with the idea, where did it spark from for you? Um, I helped start Entertainment Tonight. So Entertainment Tonight was a huge daily effort. And, uh, you know, some producers came and got fired and left. And uh, then there was a producer who came along and he wanted to take Entertainment Tonight into a serious vein. He said, excuse me, this is television. So he and I had a blazing row over, I was inside Farrah Fawcett's house with uh, Farrah and Ryan O'Neill, shooting a segment. And uh, he wanted me to talk seriously to both of them. Uh, this was not a good thing to ask me to do. As I said, people don't want to speak seriously about, they want to see people in the bathtub, but they want to know what's in the bedroom. And he said, nobody wants to know that. And you know, that was the difference between whether you do personality journalism or serious business journalism. There's room for both, but it doesn't, serious stuff doesn't belong on television. That's not entertainment. And the word of the show was entertainment tonight. And so that's where it sparked from everything, and if you I didn't said, want to be serious. Let me go do a show called Lifestyles of the Famous. And then we said, well, that doesn't sound very catchy. So then we put Rich and Famous. And that was very catchy. And it ran for 14 years. And it made a fortune. And it, and it begat uh, seven other shows at the same time. And, um, and then everybody copied us. And then I left it and started the Food Network. Food Network. So what do you have coming up next then? I've, I'm done. Yes, you're done. I'm so done. what do you have coming I'm next now in an general? Old man. Well, what about next? As in, what about vacations or, you know, what? I'm what? I'm going to rest on a beach in Thailand. In Thailand. When are you going? Drink large quantities of champagne. You already got the party started, like I said. <laughs> it's a prop. <laughs> a prop. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. Well, um, thank you and have fun tonight. I have every intention. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment below of what your favorite movie is this year. See you next time. I'm Robin Leach for the Red Carpet Report with those champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Cheers.